Why is the Christian worldview collapsing in America? Well, if we go back in time, it wasn't that many generations ago that a very Christianized worldview, I say Christianized, not truly Christian, but Christianized worldview, and by that I mean the Judeo-Christian ethic based on the Bible, permeated America, permeated really the Western world. And so at that time, even those who are not Christian uh, would have believed that marriage is a man and a woman, that there are only two genders, male and female, and also uh, that abortion would be killing a human being. And of course, there was a respect for the Bible, and so therefore the Bible's morality sort of permeated people's thinking. And, and that fits with you know the conscience that God has given us, a law that's written on our hearts as well. But what's happened over time in our Western world is that we have found that the majority of our children 85% of kids from church homes, for instance, have gone through a secular education system. The secular is not neutral. No such thing as neutrality. You're either for Christ or against. You either build your house on the rock or you build your house on the sand. So secular really means anti-God. They're going through this anti-God education system they, that has thrown God out, that has really taught against the Bible increasingly or thrown the Bible out altogether and has taught generations that they arose by natural processes, naturalism, which is atheism. In other words, the evolutionary worldview. And so they're just animals. And so who determines right and wrong? Well, you do. So increasingly what happened was we have generations coming through an education system and also impacted by the media and other factors as well, such as uh, most churches not teaching a true biblical worldview, beginning with Genesis 1 to 11. And we have then generations arising who have the foundation of man's word, not God's word. Therefore, man determines right and wrong, good and bad. Out of that comes the secular uh, worldview. And so we've seen this change happening. And out of the secular worldview, what happens is they become more consistent. And so if they have gotten to the stage of, you know, um, believing there's no God, the Bible's not true, then right and wrong is whatever you want to make it to be. It's sort of like the book of Judges. When they had no king to tell them what to do, they all did what was right according to their own eyes. You would expect to see increasingly moral relativism permeate the culture, and that's what we see. Whereas once the Judeo-Christian ethic was more dominant in the American culture, now moral relativism from the secular worldview is the dominant worldview. And that's why we see this clash and those who hold to moral relativism look on those who are Christians as well. They are intolerant. They are the ones who give hate speech. They are the ones who are misogynist or homophobes or uh, whatever it is. And yet it's the secularists who really are the intolerant people because they don't want Christians standing on God's word and therefore insisting on Christian absolutes, they want everything but Christian absolutes. So you see uh, that clash that we see in our culture. But that's really what's happened. And a big part of the problem is the church, because churches should have been standing on God's word, raising up generations uh, to know what they believe and know why they believe what they do, to have a Christian worldview. But instead, in many ways, many of the church leaders endorsed the secular education system, saying you can believe what you're taught at school, uh, you can believe in evolution millions of years. Don't worry about that. Just trust in Jesus, Johnny. But little Johnny, over time, starts to see that, well, if the history in the Bible in Genesis is not true, how can the rest be true? And over time, there becomes this doubt that you can believe any of the Bible. And we've seen an incredible exodus from the church. It's interesting that the exodus from the church, if you go back uh, to the 1700s, uh, there was 75, 80% of the population in America went to church, whereas now... Uh, in the 21st century, we're finding that we're down to less than 9% of Generation Z. It's interesting, the catastrophic generational loss from the church has gone actually hand in hand with the increasing uh, secularization of the culture. Because we've lost those generations from the church, they become very secularized. We let them be secularized. So now we find we have a very anti-God culture. If you'd like to see me go more in depth on this subject, well, click here to see a talk I gave at the Creation Museum about how secularists are attacking God's design for the family and what you as a Christian can do about it.